Have I just found the one project that's gonna be able to get me to my goal, 2,000 pound a month passive income? How much it costs to invest in this project? What are the daily returns and the monthly returns? What's the return on investment period? Is it sustainable? Is it a Ponzi scheme? And all the future exciting news about this project. What's going on guys? My name's Johnny Shapland and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Strongblock. When I was searching the web on how I was gonna reach my goal of creating 2,000 pound a month passive income, I came across these rapid ROI nodes. Things such as Thor nodes, Ring nodes, uh, Louvita, I think, Samurai nodes. There was a ton of them. And they all were promising this insane amount of ROI. So I started digging them further and I realized that these were all forks of a different project that had actually been around for almost a year. These projects called themselves nodes and I was interested as to what that meant. A node is used to verify transactions on the blockchain. When I looked into this, I realized that these aren't actually nodes. So I don't know why they were calling them nodes. You are fake news, sir. However, the reason is, is because they forked from Strong, which does provide nodes. What do they actually do? These are DeFi as a service, and they call them nodes because it's just a way of keeping it simple so people would invest. I looked at Ring and Thor. So the Thor nodes are promising five Thor per day from a 62.5 Thor investment. So that's really exciting because that means like 13 days return on investment, which is insane. Before I looked into it, I realized these projects were actually just massive Ponzi scheme. They had no value and the only reason that people were able to get these rewards was other people joining the project. So a percentage of your investment actually goes into the rewards pool to pay other people's return on investment. This is literally a Ponzi scheme. However, when researching into this, I realized that actually they're trying to build long-term sustainability from the profits that they generate by investing in high-yielding DeFi protocols. So they were hoping that with enough investment, the treasury will be able to make investments in DeFi projects such as like Time Wonderland and Olympus, as well as just buying cryptocurrencies and hoping for inflation and price. However, these all very rapidly crashed because it was not sustainable. It was loads of people piling in trying to make quick money and the people who got in early made money, but a lot of people were left as exit liquidity. Oh, it went to zero! Yeah! So this got me thinking, if these were all the forks of a project, what's the original project? The original project was Strongblock. So I checked it out, I went onto the website and I was really interested by everything that I read. I then did some further research and I come across quite a few videos of other people saying that they can earn £1,000 a month or $1,600 a month from just holding one node. Nice. I was really excited because like I said before, this was the original project that all of them had copy and pasted the code from and Strongblock had been around for almost a year. Unlike these other projects, Strongblock was providing nodes as a service. So they were actually creating nodes in different places that verify transactions on the blockchain. So it's been around for almost a year. It's actually creating nodes. So why have I come across a lot of people saying that Strongblock is also a Ponzi scheme? So when you create your node, it breaks down exactly the percentages of where your strong is invested. To create one node, it takes 10 strong. One strong at the minute at current market prices is 400 pounds. So to create one node is 4,000 pounds. Unfortunately, like the other forks, is once you put that 10 strong in there, you can't get that back, that's an investment. So you have to wait for your return on investment before you start making any profits. On the website, the nodes currently say that they pay out 0.1 strong a day. However, from looking at the Discord and watching other people's YouTube videos, I've seen that that number is more like 0.93 strong a day. So what are the calculations? So if you want 0.093 strong a day, then you make about 2.88 strong a month, which is calculated to be about around a thousand pound a month. That's if the price maintains its current value. So looking at these calculations, if I have two strong nodes, I'll be able to create that 2,000 pound a month passive income source to be able to reach my goal. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. What are the risks? Once you invest that 10 strong, that's gone. You can't take that back. Not like other nodes where you provide it as collateral by proof of stake. This is purely an investment into hoping to get these rewards. Another risk is the fluctuation in price of strong. Because you're not getting paid the rewards in pounds, you're getting paid in strong, the market price can change, meaning that your ROI can extend or shorten. However, at the minute, it was at £1,000 per strong and it's all the way down at like 400 
So I believe that with some positive news in crypto, the strong price could return back up to the old price and cut my return on investment time in half. So that's why I think it could be a good investment to look into. However, like everything in crypto, this is not financial advice and it is, there's a high risk that it could go wrong. What's another consideration? Strongblock is built on the Ethereum chain and if you don't know much about crypto, on the Ethereum chain, you pay for transaction fees to send and receive your different cryptocurrencies. Ethereum is renowned for high transaction fees and looking at other people's videos, to be able to reduce your risk of market fluctuations, it'd be great to be able to claim your rewards every day, really. But because of the price of Ethereum transactions, so you'd have to leave your rewards at risk, accumulating in your wallet, just to be able to take less of those Ethereum fees. What's another thing to consider? There's a 14 pound monthly fee per node that has to be paid in Ethereum. And something to note for this is that if you fail to pay this for 30 days, your node will just be deleted or it'll be removed from your wallet because they've created the physical node. So yeah, they're the considerations. You've got the initial investment, which you can't take back. You've got the long return on investment. You've got the Ethereum gas fees and you've got the payment to maintain the service. So that's all the things to consider. Now looking at the news and the potential growth and what Strong has already done with the project. So when you run nodes on Ethereum 1.0, you're not actually receiving rewards. So initially the Ponzi scheme structure, like I talked about the other ones, was paying for other people to run these nodes. However, you do need these validator nodes and Strong recognizes that they're needed to be able to maintain an efficient blockchain. So they wanted to set up a reward system to incentivize more people to run these nodes. How have they developed and how's that changed over time? Now they're moving on to the Polygon network. Additionally, the Strongblock company have released NFTs, which give you an increased daily percentage of Strong earned, which has also increased the rewards pool as people had to buy these with Strong. And there's some exciting news about bringing some Sentinel nodes, which is another chain, and some Phantom nodes, and there's going to be more developments throughout the year. Some other exciting news is that they'll be introducing fractional nodes, meaning that the barrier to entry, the cost, because at the minute, 10 Strong, is quite expensive for the normal investor. They will be making fractional nodes, meaning more people will be able to afford the nodes. And I believe that this will increase the price of Strong dramatically as loads more investors will be trying to get involved. So that's my opinion on Strong. Knowledge. That's the overall video on Strong. I hope this helps anyone who's looking into it. it looks like it's gonna be about just under four months return on investment. However, the company's been established for 12 months. It's got potential for huge growth. The fractional nodes means that more people will be able to get involved, therefore maintaining this sustainability long term. Another thing to note is that these new chains, these new nodes, they're going to be decaying. So and once you've hit your return on investment over time, these rewards will be reduced, but they said they won't go to zero. However, to counteract that, the new mm -hmm. nodes, they do have a little bit higher percentage of return on investment. So it is quite a little bit faster, as well as you don't have the transaction fee. So on Polygon, the transaction fees aren't as high as the Ethereum network. Finally, another thing to note is that to make the new Polygon nodes, you do need to own an NFT. Different tiers of NFTs will allow you to create different number of nodes within a new Polygon, but they're saying within Q1, they're going to be releasing the Polygon nodes to everyone, and then they're releasing the Phantom nodes as well. So that's my overall. I'm going to be looking at creating two strong nodes and I'm going to be documenting exactly my experience with them, bringing you monthly updates of exactly how much or how late I've made, whether it's been rug pulled, whether it's gone to zero, whether I've got my return on investment back, and whether I'm actually achieving my goal of creating that 2,000 pound a month passive income. Being broke is a mindset. I'll bring you these updates on this channel, so if that sounds like you're something you're interested in, hit subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want some quick updates on the news of these projects I invest in, then follow my TikTok because I'll post some updates there that might be crucial to the price or development of the project. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a video because YouTube doesn't tell you otherwise. So family and friends, if you've subscribed and you're watching this video, please hit the bell notification so you can get notified exactly when I upload a video. Smash the like button, leave a comment if you're looking at making a strong node and I'll see you guys in the next one. Your boy's gone skis.